Hi everybody, I'm Scott and this is a very quick review. It's not even really a review, it's more just my own irritation at, at this. This this piece of crap here. See? Look how flimsy that is. 30 bucks! Just to organize my cables. It's ridiculous. So here it is in all its stupid glory. It's uh, basically just a bunch of independent plastic brackets just slotted into this piece of channel back here. And this is very flimsy, thin aluminum channel. I mean, look at it. It just bends like crazy. It's awful. And it's held on on each end by these two tiny little brackets here. And notice in this one, there's black screws, right? And in this one here, there are some kind of silverish screws. Why is this not focused? Silver screws on that side. And I don't know if it was in focus. So here's some black screws on that side. This is the screw it came with, right? Looks kind of like a Phillips screw. But look how big it is in the middle there. It's basically just rounded in the middle. Now, I don't know, maybe that's some international variant or someone else's version of a Phillips screw. It's not a Phillips. It's not a Frierson. It's not a PosiDrive. I don't know. It's not anything I have a driver for that fits that correctly. By contrast, this is just a random screw that I grabbed that has a proper like Phillips head. The point being, this is a regular Phillips screw. It fits beautifully on my screw gun. See? It doesn't even come off when I tap it. That's not even mag... Okay, it came off when I really tapped it. But here is the screw that came with this stupid friggin' cable mounting system, cable management system. It just falls right off. I mean, it kind of it kind of holds on there. It gives you a little bit of hope. But I think that's a little bit of magnetism right there. But look how wobbly it is. It just wobbles right off the driver. Now that wouldn't be a problem if you could drive it like this. Like you usually drive a screw, holding it in. See, it, it just comes right off. So annoying, I don't know what the hell this is. But if you could just guide it in with one hand and drive with the other, it works okay. Not as good as this, but you could just slap on there and drive right in. But the, here's the problem. These little clips don't actually attach to the track. The track just sort of slides in there. You can see it's loose in there, right? So the problem is when you get one of these mounted, the track slides in, that's fine. But then you go to the other side to attach this one, and then suddenly the track is now like this. You gotta hold the track up with one hand, guide the screw in with another hand, and actually drive it with a third hand. And I don't have three hands. I mean, you can kind of maybe just get one hand over this whole assembly here and maybe drive it in with a couple of fingers. But if you're gonna mount this, and you shouldn't even buy it in the first place, just get some tape or something, some masking tape, and just tape it in place first, and then mount it. I mean, you can easily hold it with tape because this thing is so light. It's just cheap. It's real, real flimsy. $30, for $15, for $10, this would be acceptable to me. But for 30 bucks, I just feel kind of ripped off just at how cheap this is. They even show that you can mount this flatways to the underside of the desk. Now, if you did that, it would just bow out like constant, like very easily. As soon as you put any kind of weight on it at all, it would just bow like that. Now, you could countersink a couple of holes in the back of this channel and hold it on that way, which, in retrospect, maybe I should have done, but, well, I guess it's not too late because these all slide out of here. And you can see it's just... Ah, it's just such it's such a piece of crap. Um, it's available on Amazon. It's one of the few cable management solutions on Amazon of this style. And um, basically, don't buy it, or wait till it goes really, really, really on sale. So, for what it's worth, that's all I have to say about this product. I don't even remember what it's called. I'll put the name of it up again here. I probably put it at the beginning of the video, but I don't know yet because I haven't edited this. But I don't know yet because I haven't yet edited this video together. So, I guess I did. Anyway, thanks for watching.